guys, just wanted to say I did it. I got up early enough to film that time lapse that hopefully you just watched if it panned out. If there was an error, then this message makes no sense at all. Anyway, it's about 6 a.m. now. The lights come up enough for me to film this bit of recording as well. Bianca's still in bed down there. Hopefully I didn't wake her up and uh, disturb her sleep too much, but I don't know, I was tossing and turning a bit last night, so I think I may be in trouble this morning, but we'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, I might just chill up at this hill near camp because it's a lovely morning. Not too windy, which is nice. Um, yeah, cloud cover is in full effect. Full panoramic dark clouds, but no rain as yet, which is good. So hopefully we'll have a chance to, you know, wake up, cook some breakfast and um, enjoy a bit of the morning before this rain sets in, which, I don't know, looking out on the horizon now, that might be uh, wishful thinking, but we'll see how we go. Cook up a bit of breakfast, pull the tent down and I don't know, meander around and enjoy the morning before heading back to Perth. Sorry, I was looking at Daniel's watch. Um, yeah, so it's around 8.30. Yank is up. Time for us to actually make a move, have some brekkie and get going. Mm -hmm. um, I was awake when Daniel's alarm went off at 5.30 or whatever it was this morning because I didn't sleep that well last night. Um, so I was awake a lot and I was just like lying there and like, oh, his alarm's probably going to go off soon. But then as soon as his alarm went off and he like actually got up and out of bed, my body was like, it's sleep time. So I was like, like, we have the whole tent to ourselves yeah. now, let's sprawl out. Maybe, and because I was really hot last night, so yeah. maybe once you got up, I, my body was like, oh, it's finally a little bit cooler. It was just a weird old night, like, I slept terribly as well, like, tossing and turning, I was sore, yeah. and yeah, temperature, inconsistencies. I've never inconsistencies. been that hot before, but it's, I think it's just humid, it, it, the weather's yeah. really humid. Yeah, because it wasn't a hot night at all, like, it's just cloudy and it, cool, But it wasn't a, anything. well, it wasn't a cold night, it was just normal. We, but we've slept in much hotter nights. Yeah. I don't know. So, anyway. Yeah. Um, we're awake now and yep. gonna have some breakfast and we said we've got Barocca so. Yeah, got some Barocca's to wake Bianca up a little bit. I'll <laughs> use coffee as my wake up ingredient. On that note, let's go make some breakfast and enjoy what time we have left of this camping trip. Yes. Yeah. Let's. I just wanted to get my feet wet, but I don't like the seaweed. Now we're walking to a clear patch of water. Also my trackies. This inevitably is gonna end up wet pants. That's better. Clean water. Yep, there goes the wet pants. So I'll head back to camp. Kettle should be boiling soon. Yeah. So I hope I'm not the only person who struggles with this. You're getting hair all over your breakfast. I'm going to... Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that too. Molting. Hairy bread. It's like fairy bread. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. It'll be knotty in like another five seconds. It wasn't as bad as I thought.
Alrighty, don't worry, you're not seeing things backwards. I am indeed in the incorrect seat slash passenger seat, which is a very uh, unusual experience for me. I've handed the reins over to Bianca to get us out of here. Yep. He's yeah. crazy, but that's okay. <laughs> which probably means we get out of here way quicker and using all the correct track as opposed to my method, which is a bit more exploratory and you know, takes us the scenic route, but we always get out eventually. Call it what you call it, it's still getting lost. <laughs> I just yeah. know where we are and how to get out. Um, no, actually, I want to go for a little drive up the beach first before we go home. Yeah, so. go for a bit of a wander around, check out the area. We've uh, not really explored much this direction. We've done a lot of this direction, but... Yeah, go for a wander. I might try and uh, see, test my own drone skills out and see if we can uh, get some cool footage. But anyway, should be fun. Better yeah. buckle up. Do we have any more seat belts than just this one? Or is that all we have? Oh, I guess we're off. That is the cool part about this stretch of beach. There's so many little hidey holes. You can really get in the camp pretty much anywhere. Drone's getting up in the air. So if you're going to do anything spectacular, do it in this trip so we get it from uh, the drone. I'm such a rookie pool driver. Daniel's like, you'll be fine, just ignores me and flies the drone. Oh my god, we're gonna die. It is hard to fly a drone when with oh, a lumpy driving. Thank you. Green I feel so sick all the time. Get out that from this run up. Here we go, we find the test. Oh dear, Bianca's done us a mischief. I don't know which way the wheels are. Try again. Hang on, I'm reversing back for run up. Bianca has more fun in the ranger than I do. Daniel, I'm not gonna be able to get over that. Look how soft it is. Try and trace your left wheel on that left track. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Come on. There we go, Bianca's second attempt to give it heaps. Oh my god, we did it! Okay, the ranger. <laughs> that was so easy. Good I job. So much well done, my little time. budding fool driver. <laughs> oh yeah, I wouldn't go that one just from the wheel lift. Pick there or there. Oh, not there. Pick there. <laughs> <laughs> my options are. There. We are back to where I started. Oh my god, I think we've done a. Hey, circle. that's my trick. Yeah, make this smooth. Let's test your driving. Oh, I'm going to have to replace both the CVs now. Smooth oh, as! Oh, that actually wasn't bad, though. Thank you very much. You redeemed yourself in the last quarter. As a rookie for driver, I hate this bit where you're like driving on a slope because the car, you feel like it's pulling to the right, so you feel like you have to turn to the left and it's like such a mind trip. You don't actually, like if you let it, the wheel stay straight, it still stays straight, but my brain is telling me so hard to turn to the left. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, and we've both seen it, like, you know, Daniel and I have seen cars tipped over because people have done that too much and then it grabs and pulls you up the bank and flips your car. But anyway, so I know not to, but it's such, it's like, such a hard instinct. I quite often just let go of the steering wheel a little bit because I really want to yank it left. I really have to trust the car. Away. <laughs> that was a bad judgment call. It's fine. 
Found it. So we were chatting last night after filming the uh, Ask Us Anything video, which we had a lot of fun filming. Mm. And a lot of the questions were around like, oh, when are you guys um, planning some big travel uh, trips? Like, where are your top five places you want to go? We both thought Karen Jeannie was like really high on both of our list. And then we realized that like, people were like, oh, is it soon? And we're like, yeah, yeah, it'll be soon. But we haven't actually like narrowed down any dates. And then I was kind of like, we should just plan it because mm. it's not going to happen unless we plan it. It's one of those things for years have been like, oh yeah, next year we'll try and uh, yeah, put like, oh, we should do that next year, and then we never do. Okay, this is where we get to choose: do we go left or right? I think it's right because okay. you. I know we've been time. left a few yeah. times. It was very rocky. Um, anyway, so we've tentatively penciled in some dates for this year to take a couple of weeks, head up and do some uh, exploring through Karajini, which is super yes. exciting for so both of us. We're looking at um, start of August. Mm -hmm. That's when we're looking at, because that's a dry season. It should be nice up there and not too hot, but not yeah. wet. Um, yeah, so looking at doing a little two-week trip. Just Absolutely. Just work and finance. So now we'll uh, start, you know, um, I guess we've already penciled in the dates, but start trying to plan what that trip would actually involve, where our yes. stops would be, what we need to bring, very important there. Um, and yeah, just finding upgrades we need to think of for the yeah, car. Yeah, getting the, the vehicle setup. ready for the trip. One thing I was wondering about was like, if you go for like 12 days, like uh, your clothes. So um, I don't know, does anyone, if you've been on a long trip, is there places you can stop to? There's a couple of I was talking about. True. Um, although that's a new one. Anyway, is there like places you can stop to wash clothes or do you guys just hand wash them or do you just pack 12 days worth of clothes? Or do you just wear the one days? set of clothes yeah. for 12 days? <laughs> yeah, so like, I'm just curious because like obviously the only long trips we've been on like that have actually been like holidays where you take many, many clothes in a massive suitcase, which mm. I kind of want to avoid doing. I don't want to take my big yeah. you know, overseas suitcase. Okay, it's that time of the weekend where mm -hmm. we have to hit the road back to reality. Thanks so much for joining us once again on one of our little mini series. We have a lot of fun filming these and um, it seems like you guys like them as well. So yeah, really appreciate you guys tuning in once again for another one of our little getaways. Yeah, thanks for coming along and uh, I'm sure plenty of stuff happening in the near future, the very near future. Yes, a lot so. of very exciting stuff that I'm super keen to um, fill you guys in on but Absolutely. time will tell what that involves and again any comments you guys have on stuff you like or want us to do or try and also any tips for our Karen Jeannie planning and yep. anything else chuck in the comments below we love hearing from you guys so. absolutely all right all right we'll catch you guys in the next one thanks happy, again for watching happy camping happy camping <laughs>